Hey guys, it's Coach Damon, and today we're going to bring you the Chris Paul Cross Glide and several steps for how you can add it to your game. If you spent much time watching Chris Paul, you've noticed that he'll, he'll get into that cross glide often repeatedly, shifting the defense side to side laterally with shooting options, driving options, and as always, setup options when that defense is shifting. The advantage to creating space laterally is the defense is constantly in a guessing game. And as they shift, if you quickly change direction or rise into a shot, unless they're a great defender, chances are their feet may be together or crossed where they're in an unathletic position and unable to quickly react to whatever move you bring to them. One advantage to Chris Paul's cross glide is the amount of space that he creates laterally. And regardless of what your finishing options are out of there, if you can't create a lot of space, you're not going to have space to work with. So as we work to add this to your game, our first focuses are going to be using that cross glide to create space. Step one is going to be very simple. And I'm going to start with the live dribble and I'm going to go one, two, and then cross glide from cone to cone. Notice when I cross glide, the ball is very low and my feet come together, but they never cross. That enables me to quickly get into a shot, a drive, or to a pass. So I'm one, two, cross glide. I'm trying to get outside of that cone. One, two, cross glide, outside of the cone. One, two, cross glide, hands never under the ball, and I'm outside of that cone. If you can easily get cone to cone, spread the cones out further and further. Step two is I'm going one, two, and I'm cross glide one, cross glide two. One, two, cross glide one, cross glide two. Notice when I hit that opposite side, when I cross glide, as soon as all of the weight lands on that outside foot, I quickly load and explode back in the opposite direction. I'm not sacrificing the space covered. I'm still creating a tremendous amount of space, but then I've shifted the defense twice as opposed to just once. Step three is gonna be just the continuous cross glide, where I'm just gonna cross, 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 cross. Notice my feet are getting outside of the cone every time. Always low, always ready to explode, but I'm continuously in that Chris Paul cross. I'm low, I'm ready to get into those actions. Ball is low, low and explode, still off of that outside foot. I'm not sacrificing my space. I'm not sacrificing my options. I'm just getting repeated actions, repeated reps with the cross glide. Step four is I'm actually going to attack the rim. So I'm going one, two, cross glide, and then instead of loading and exploding back, I'm going to hit that left foot, and as soon as it hits, I'm exploding to the rim with the split step. So again, if we break this down, I'm not load in back, I'm seeing that hip split and going as I beat my defender with that outside foot. Now as you work reps with this, you're going to start on this side and you're going one. You're going to come back to this side and you're going two and go, and then three and go. And you're going to continuously work your way up until you get 10 consecutive cross glides and go. 10 total finishes from side one, 10 total finishes starting on side two. Now our fifth step is going to be using the cross glide to get into a shot. So this time when I cross glide, that defense is going to drop when that left foot hits the ground. So when they drop, I'm dropping and rising. Now previously we had dropped and exploded, or we loaded on that outside foot and cross glided back into the opposite direction. This time I'm, boom, drop, defense drives, I step in and I rise. Very similar to our hezzy pull up. Now obviously if I'm going in the opposite direction, I'm here, right to the rim, defense sinks, step and rise. Similarly to how we did with the cross glide and finish at the rim, I'm gonna go one and shot. Right back to the opposite side, and then I'm going one, two, and shot. I'll do that until I get to 10 consecutive cross glides on this side, 10 consecutive cross glides on that side. So if you're working on this series, and you're trying to add it to your game, you'll get 10 finishes from this side, 10 from this side, 10 pull-ups here, 10 pull-ups starting at that side. So 40 total shots, repping out the CP3 cross glide series over and over and over into your finishes. Cross, glide, attack. We went one, now we'll go two. 
One, two, attack. Outside, inside, finish. Now we'll go three. I'm one, I'm two, I'm three, I'm attack. Then we will go four and continue all the way to 10. Start with one, drop, hezzy, rise. Come back, right, left, left, right, drop, right, hezzy, get our shot. One to two, all the way to 10. Cross, drop, rise, shot. A lot of elite NBA moves, if you really break them down, are very simple. It's just the efficiency with which they're done and the space that they create. The CP3 cross glide is no different. If you can create space while always staying square and always having those three options to drive, pass, or shoot, you're gonna be very difficult to guard. Using this series, you can add it to your game and play just like Chris Paul.